Howdy to everybody. Mythic here. Welcome back to Gyrum. Before we go and check on a couple of things, I want to talk to my Bobmer friends. Bobmers are few and far in between, and I want to. Hello, Nazim. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. <laughs> Anyway, you're who I came to talk to. Howdy. Ah, kinsman. How my heart soars to look upon a brother Bosmer. Please, how can I serve your hunting needs? Yes, I hear that question often. My brother Anorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming rather too much mead. After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated. And in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. He shot an arrow that pierced my... Well, rump. After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. <laughs> Try Holder, the innkeeper at the Bannered Mare. It's just up the road near the market. You should check in at Dragon's Reach, too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. Take a look. Let's see what you have. Bolts. Here we go. Crossbows. I actually want to be a Bosmer crossbowman. But they're so expensive. I could get that one. Let's go ahead and do it. That one. some bolts. Thank you very much for your business. Now I got a crop bow. And now I'm ready to look into some stuff. Ooh, flowers. Ooh, flowers. Ooh, flowers. Chicken in the Hall of the Dead. Bones were moving, threw me off for a bit. Ooh, skeevers, free skeever tail. Since no one else seems to be doing anything about it, I've taken steps to rid ourselves of this skeever problem. Please do not eat the cheese, as it is late with a dangerous poison. I repeat, this cheese is for skeevers only. If you feel the need to take a bite, I implore you to look in the mirror first and confirm that you are a skeever. If so, then you may eat to your heart's content. Hmm. Can I take the poison? I'll take the poison. Let's go check by the tables. Let's 
shortcut. Well, that's not good. So much stuff. All right. The dark elf was smart to choose me. Guards aside, I can pass as a stable boy easy enough. I'll tell the shopkeeper I got bucked by a wild one and landed face first into the briars. I'm smart like that. The other bandits always put fun at my face, saying I look like a newborn babe, but it comes in handy for jobs like this. After seeing how well the Dark Elf pays, the entire gang will be looking for a razor pretty soon. Speaking of which, I'm supposed to meet my mysterious benefactor back at the table, and not at the Silent Moon Camp. Not sure why, but he says if I'm followed, it's best I stay in character until I'm well clear of the city gate. Well, I hope he doesn't sneak up on me while I wait. I nearly soiled myself the last time, but smart guy that I am, I brought the tome to help me find him. Thing is, I opened it up and can't for the life of me figure out how it works. Only a matter of time, though, for a guy like me. Interesting. Oh. Well, there you go. Oh, yeah. Another thing that I like doing that a lot of people probably won't agree with. I like to bam bells to get my skill level up. Specifically, I want illusion up so that I can cast silent bells. pretty damn good. Aha! There she is, the Lady of the Lake. Where's Lydia? Hey, Lydia. I've got your back. I serve you, my thing. Here, take this. Let's get going then.
go ahead and put this one in illusion. I can work on quiet captain. Not that. Darn it. I can now conjure familiar. Let go. Mining area. ADHD engaged. What can I mine from right here? Silver ore. to take all the silver. All the ore. Okay, get the glitch. I was about to say, if the glitch was going to give me more, I won't be opposed to it, but... It didn't. That one dodged. Quit moving. my trick. 
can't believe I just took everyone out. I hear you, Lydia. Take care of my light work. Now, where's that guy that was there? Nope, that's a tree dump. Here he is. Ooh, or Cinnamon Ore. Look at all the dead bodies. And you have both bows and ebony arrows. Interesting. user. You didn't have anything. Keep that stuff up. I could I should have gotten the next level from Thandall or whatever that guy's name is the mage Balgrook Mage. Alright. Assassin's Journal. The bow has long been a player in the game. It toppled many a peat from Yal to King. It does so without sight or sound, save for a rattling crown on a bloodstained floor. And yet, it's been far too long since it's had a chance to tilt the board. Rayless Gale failed to topple a peat. Dram took the flesh, but not the soul, and the game went on without incident. Now the pieces sit idly by, refusing to move in their comfort. Even now, as I take aim at the target, I hear their indolent yawn through the draw of my bowstring. Yet the board cannot remain level forever. With the bow in my hand, it will tilt once more. However, the timing must be right. The toppling of a pea rings hollow in a thunderstorm. I must wait for a quiet moment, one that's intimate. When the Jarl is not engaged in talks of war and dragons. If the battle for Gyrum comes to White One, I will be forced to a draw. But there will come a time when he sits idly by in his grand hall, unbothered by the world. In that moment, when the Jarl has a chance to finally breathe, I will sneak my way to the upper floors and make sure that breath is his last. And when I take my leave, cloaked in her shadow, all anyone will hear is a rattle. Interesting. that I fling all the way over here. Ah, sword. I'll have to look into all of that. But, 
I gotta save the Jarl. But before I save the Jarl, I gotta pick flowers. Nah, I'm kidding. But I do have to kill the guy in here. right to the knee. Actually, where's my muffle? There it is. You know, normally, normally, nah, normally I'd walk all the way back. But seeing that this is such a delicate matter, I think it prudent to go ahead and get there as soon as possible. They are right there. All right, where is that ultra poison? There it is. Pity that was. It was all too easy. God might get nervous. Alright, 
they get rid of that moon enchantment. Alright. Let's do a little bit of waiting. I serve Jarl Balgrum as steward. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Why, thank you. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Well. In the old tales, the dragonborn heroes would use the power of their voice to defeat the enemies of Skyrim. Wolfheart was dragonborn. Talos, too, the founder of the Empire. Back in the good old days. In the very oldest tales, back from when there still were dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. They're the masters of the way of the voice, of shouting. They live up on top of the throat of the world. If you're really Dragonborn, they'll want to talk to you. In the old stories, they always summon the Dragonborn for training. If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of Whiterun. No doubt General Talius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. But that day has not come yet. No doubt, he thought it was the only way to make his point. And also, because he knew he could. With good planning, and constant vigilance. Even now, my court wizard, Ferengar, continues his research into ways we might drive back these terrors. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But our greatest weapon? Courage, for if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters, that is the best we can do. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Paragon. Divine smile on you. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to guess. <coughs> Interesting. Reanimate corpse was the one I needed to learn. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winter. Alright. I suppose I'll complete this one next. I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. Thank you everybody for watching. Can't wait to see all of you in the next video. Bye bye now.